Okay, let me show you how to use this custom GPT prompt that I made you guys. If you watch this video, you're good. If you haven't yet watched this video first, kind of explains the strategy behind really growing your Instagram and how to use typeset to make your Instagram post for you. So the first thing you should do is click import this template. This imports right into your typeset account. You can change this however you want. It won't mess it up for anybody else. This creates a clone project of this social media document right inside your typeset account. If it looks like this right away, all you got to do is go up here, click on the resize and change it to square for Instagram or any other size. If you want to do reels, you can switch to tall, but I would just keep it at square. So you can change all of this. You don't want to do four vacation mistakes that parents make. You could do four swing mistakes that golfers make. And you can change any of these images. So I can say replace. If you're on Typeset Pro, always switch to Getty. You get so many more images here. Let me do golfer and I'll do one. Okay, I can only do one at a time. So let me insert that in. Let me show you a shortcut real quick to do these images really, really quick. You can do multiple. I'm going to delete these other two. So to delete any of these, you can either click on it and click the delete key right on your keyboard, or you can just hover over the settings and hit delete. I'm going to put more images in. I'm just going to type in the word image. You can see it highlights image. I can click this or hit return on my keyboard, go to Getty, click on golfer, and I want two more. So one, two. When you add a new image into your canvas, you can select multiple. If you're replacing an image that's already there, you can only uh, add one. So I'll just add two more in there and you'll see it will upload them. If any of them are off, you can click on them, click on this little icon and then drag it to put the image wherever you want and click the checkbox to center that image. Obviously this text does not make sense for me. So I'm going to delete it. If you delete it all the way, do a new line and type list. You do bullet list, hit enter. Now you're in list mode. If I hit tab, I can go into AI list mode and say, give me two mistakes golfers make on the course. And I'm going to let AI go write this for me just as a shortcut. It gave me more than two. So I'm just going to hit insert. And if I want it to be a little bit bigger, then I can just delete it and boom, it automatically shortens it. Any of these templates that you guys you, you like, just hit the magic wand feature and just look through here and just see like, Hey, maybe you like, you know, you want the images to be bigger and the text on the right hand side. Maybe you like this kind of cool one. Maybe you want everything centered. Just scroll left or right using your mouse and you can make this look however you want. Anytime you change anything on the left, you add text, remove text, add images, remove images. Always make sure to go back and click on the magic wand because it will give you a whole host of new options anytime you change the pieces that you give the AI brain to work with. That's how you change any one of these. If you don't like the, the image or color or style, you can also click the magic wand and pick a new theme. So let's get to the custom GPT prompt. Click on download this GPT prompt. It will take you right into chat GPT. I think you need a premium account. It will be the best money you ever spent. We get no affiliate commission from ChatGPT, so it's not like I'm telling you to do this because it'll make us more money. It won't. When you load it up, you can do tweets or Instagram posts. I'll probably improve this over time. If you want other things, write into support and let us know. Ignore this description. I'll change that after I make this video. It doesn't just do tweets. You can click on either one of these. So let's say create Instagram posts. I program this bot to ask you the two things that it needs. What's your target audience? Like who are you actually creating content for and what do they love to consume? I'll say, uh, my audience is fitness enthusiasts who love content that makes it easy to take action on their fitness goals. They struggle with keeping their diet and getting into the gym because they are busy. Enter and let the AI do its magic. So here's what it's going to do. It's going to give you a bunch of post ideas and not just the caption. This is something I could paste right into 
Instagrams. Let me load up Instagram and go to typesets and show you how. Yeah, obviously you're probably aware of how Instagram works, but let's just go into Instagram. Like there's two parts of an Instagram post, the image on the left and the caption on the right. The AI is going to give you both things, the image and the caption. I could just copy this, go into Instagram and click on post. Now I haven't done this on a desktop in a while, but here's like a post. So first thing is the image. Let's start with the image. So here it says a three panel infograph showing a person running in the morning, a blender with some ingredients or a smoothie ready to go. Um, and it gives you some text ideas. So this is perfect. So let's try to go do this first one right here inside of typeset. So I'm going to do an image that has this text on it. No time for full breakfast and a person running in the morning. So let's, I'm just going to grab this, uh, second slide right here and I'm going to do, I'm going to paste this in no time for a full breakfast and I'm going to get rid of this swipe. Um, and then I'm going to go in and hit replace on this image. And I'm going to say, uh, a person running or a person rushing in the morning. So let's go back in here to Getty type in person rushing and go look. Yeah, here we go. That's actually perfect. Um, so person, person rushing in the morning, let typeset add this image in there and there's my post right there. Now, again, hit the magic wand rule. Number one, always hit the magic wand. So I actually kind of like it, uh, more, um, full width there. Uh, let's see what else actually that one's kind of good. Cause you can kind of see his face. That's cool. Cause it's more easily readable, but I don't want to block his face. Um, that one's actually really good. Let's see if there's any other good ones. I don't really like those. That one's good. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think I like this one the best. But let's say red's not my color. I want to do green. Uh, I kind of want the green to stand out more. That one is good. Uh, let's see. Yellow looks good. Blue looks good. I'm going to stick with green. So there's my image right there. Um, so I'm just going to go hit export. I'm just going to want this first image. So I'm going to unselect all, and I'm just going to select this one right here. I want an image. I want it square. It's good to go. So I'm going to click export right down here. Wait for typeset to export while that exports. I'm going to go back into chat GPT and get this caption. Now. Remember this caption was written for an image that's like a three panel infographic. So, but I'm not going to talk about this blender thing or the smoothie ready to go. I'm just anything in here that is good for this person rushing in the morning. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Typeset did finish downloading this. So here is my, let me see if I can create a new tab and show you the image. I'll drag this in. There's the image. So this is on my desktop. Uh, I'm going to go back to Instagram, hit select from computer. There's my image right there. I'm going to go next. I don't really need any, you know, you can play around with these filters. If one of them kind of makes it stand out, but this is obviously, I'm not going to post this because I'm not a fitness guru on my personal Instagram, but I'm just going to hit paste and look, here it is. So let's read the text and see if it works with just this one image. Cause I kind of tweaked what chat GPT said. Still too busy for breakfast. Skip the stress and fuel your day in 60 seconds. One banana, one scoop of protein, one cup of almond milk, handful of spinach, blend, and you're ready to go. Try tomorrow. Tag me when you do. Hit the link about it. Man, this is, AI is insane. I mean, typeset's insane, but AI is also insane. I just took what ChatGPT said here, and it gave me three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gave me 10 of them. And I could say, give me... 10 more and it's going to go write 10 more or i could say for post id uh, number one you know make this tweak uh you know change the image or make the text more direct or more friendly or you tell it whatever you want and it will go back and it will listen to you um th this is how you go do this uh and then if we scroll back up to Oh, so the buttons are not in here if I want to like jump over to tweets. So if you ever want to start back over, 
number one, this social media creator, uh, Jeep custom GPT should then show up on the left side of your chat GPT account. So anytime you want to make something new, you should just be able to go over here, find it and click into it. It'll start a new conversation. If that doesn't work for you, just hit download this GPT prompt again, and it will load up a fresh, uh, environment for you to create either tweets instead of Instagram posts or Instagram posts for a different business. And if I hit create tweets, it's going to say the same thing. Target audience is, uh, people looking to lose weight, frustrated by how complicated strategies are and how little time they have. And it's going to write tweets. So here's 10 tweets that it's going to give. And it's also going to write threads for you based on what we know works uh, with um, threads on X. And it's just going to crank this stuff out for you. Um, and you don't even need images on Twitter um, or X. So you can just copy and paste those right in. Um, if you want to add images, same thing. You could tell it to make some more images. I actually might tweak this for you guys to have it um, do the same thing it did with Instagram, where it kind of gives you the image idea. Um, so you guys can easily make them. But this is how you use the template uh, in your account. Uh, this template right here, how you export everything out, how you tweak this stuff, and how you use the custom GPT prompt uh, to really crank out some awesome content on social media without needing a team, without doing any of that stuff. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you uh, have success with it. If you need any tweaks or whatever, just let me know and I'll talk to you soon.